I think the school is home for all of us. In a parking lot across the Dreyfus School of the Arts Theater. This was a place um, that we all recall with fond memories. Far from where 33-year-old Roman Phelps lost his life. He stayed over and he said, bye mom, bye Tony. See you guys later. You never get a chance to see him. Family and loved ones gathered to remember their son, classmate, and friend. He was just very happy. So I just want to keep his legacy that way, that he was a very happy person. Phelps was a Dreyfus alum who volunteered with the school's theater program. Police say last Friday, Phelps crashed his car through one of the gates on campus and started acting erratically while school was in session. Phelps was shot and killed after an altercation with police. It's unprecedented, it's something that we've never seen before, but we just are so thankful to everybody who's reached out to us. Family says the Dreyfus Theater was like a second home for Phelps and wonder why he was killed. You know, if they don't understand, they don't train undercover off-duty police. Didn't he have a taser to tase him or something? He does have to shoot Speakers him like a dog sharing like their that. memories of Phelps during Mental Health Awareness Month. This is a global issue, and uh, we are just here to unite and start having these difficult conversations. Right. And that's what Roman would want us to do.